So we've got the tracking portion of the lesson done. We can see that the solid does stay with it until it reaches the edge. Um, because of lighting changes, it does get a little darker. But by this time, we should have the, uh, the whole thing faded out, and we can just focus on the logo. So that shouldn't be an issue once we actually get um, the other animation done for it. So let's go ahead and set up the scale for our uh, Muni logo. So it comes out, and we'll do a scale and position so it comes out and then centers itself. So we'll select our layer, hit P, then Shift and S to get scale as well. We'll add in keyframes for both. We'll move to, let's have it take about, about two and a half seconds should be good. And we'll increase our scale to about 240 or so. We'll enable continuous rasterization so the vector stays nice and crisp on the edges. And then for the position, instead of having to um, figure it out ourselves, we can always go up to our window align panel, line layers to composition, and we'll just center it horizontally and vertically. That way we don't have to figure it out at all. We can let the program do it for us. There we go. It'll be nice and pull out. Uh, we'll add some easing to this and ease out. Show you guys what I'm doing here. Uh, keyframe assistant, easy ease out on the first ones. And keyframe assistant, easy ease in on the second ones. Uh, if you're doing this for a project, you probably want to actually go in the graph editor and do a more customized ease. But for practice, this will work nicely. And the other thing we want to do is we need to fade out the background. Um, and since it's two separate layers, and if we try to fade them both out uh, individually, they're going to show where they overlap. So what we'll do instead is we'll just add in a solid white layer. So if you go up to Layer, New, Solid, uh, choose white for your color. White's going to look best behind this uh, logo. If your height and width are different, they probably are because we set a different size for the solid, you're going to want to click on Make Comp Size to make them the same size as your composition, and click OK. Now we're just going to align our fade to uh, fit with our logo animation. So if you select your white solid layer, hit T to get your opacity. Set the opacity to zero and enable keyframes. Then we'll move our playhead forward so it lines with our second set of keyframes and increase the opacity to 100. And then maybe apply the same easing Ease out, ease in, and finally what we get is a nice end to a Muni video where you can have the Muni train pull away and the logo pulls out from this. So this is just one example of using this single track. Anytime you want to add graphic elements or anything like that that's going to follow the movement of your different layers. Um, you can use a single point track if you just need to do position. There's also uh, other options within the tracker that include um, rotation and scale. And when you enable those, they give you a second point um, to track the origin spot. And then the track one is going to be for the difference in rotation or scale. So if you needed it to rotate or scale, you can also use it in this sort of way.